Hello everybody! In today's video I'm going to show you what's new in our Stream Deck plugin version 5. As you can probably see, we have some new buttons. And we have also some highly requested features. The main features that we did is the modifier keys. SES Software has recently added modifier keys to their, well, keyboard keys. So we did the same to our Stream Deck plugin. Now you can actually assign uh, modifier keys like Control, Shift, Alt, and similar to your Stream Deck key bindings. Our Stream Deck basically just emulates a keyboard, so we kind of had to do that, this. Now th this gives you the option to have many more keyboard bindings set in the game. We've also redid all of our buttons. This means we've done them all now in vector SVG graphics, so they're now crisp, clear, and now they have transparent backgrounds. A lot of you have complained that uh, our previous gray backgrounds were kind of an eyesore, and we kind of agree. We have fixed that now. All right, let's move on to our new buttons. Going into the cab of this truck, I'm going to start with the electricity switch. Now, if you go into your game settings, for instance, options, and you go into your keys and buttons, and scroll a little bit down, here you can see the start-stop engine electricity. As soon as you assign this, your game will operate in the separate electricity mode. Our start engine button now also supports this mode because if you have it turned on, it operates differently because you cannot start or stop the engine with that button anymore. I'm going to show you that in a second. But here, if we go to the top, you're going to see that I have shift set as my modifier key. And I've actually used this here for my electricity, shift plus E, and then just regular E for my regular old start stop engine button. Okay, let's get back to the cap. If, you, if I now press my Start Engine button, nothing happens. I need to start, I need to press my uh, uh, electricity switch. When I do that, both my electricity and my engine start button light up. That basically means uh, electricity button means that the electricity is on and the engine button just tells us that it's now operational, we can press it, we can use it to start the engine. Once I click on my start en engine button, the engine turns on, and the button just says on. This is to give, a, give us an indication that the engine is on, and that's it. If we use this button in the classic mode, without the engine separate uh, engine electricity switch, the engine button would now say stop. But since we cannot click on it now, and we cannot use it to stop the engine, it just says on. All right. Oh yeah, to turn off the, the, the truck, you just click the engine electricity button again. There we go. Okay, uh, let's put this back on. Electricity, uh, engine, and let's move on to the next button. And that's gonna be our windshield wiper switch. There we go. And unfortunately, this button only shows on and off state because we don't get actual level of wipers from the SCS SDK. Maybe in the future, but for now we can only do on and off. So there we go. You have to click it multiple times, but once you reach the off position, it turns off. The buttons that are also new are the gear indicator which basically just tells you if your gearbox is in neutral, if it's in one of the reverse gears, and yes, we can have multiple reverse gears, I'm gonna demonstrate in a second, and also just tells you if you're in one of the forward gears. Okay, the last button, and the most interesting one, is the speed indicator, and that can be in three separate modes. You can have it just in the basic mode, in a stylized digital mode, or you could have a full-blown analog speed gauge. 
well, that one's basically reserved for our uh, pro users, which means our patrons. Which, thank you all, because you guys are the ones who make this whole project possible. Okay, now off to the demonstrations. All right, my truck's on. Let's start drive. There we go. As you can see, all the speed display displays are showing in sync, the same speed, which is obviously what we would all expect. And the, and the gear indicator is showing what gears we're on. Also, I want to show you this awesome uh, Mod Studio 10 year anniversary skin that I'm using. And if you missed it, we actually had a comp skinning competition uh, late last year. We had a lot of really good entries and this was the winning skin. It's just really nice. Very well. Oh yeah. Also, you can download all of these skins from our website and I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna post the links down in the description. Also, I'm gonna post all the links about our Stream Deck plugin down in the description as well. And if you're actually new to this, all these buttons, that's not, not all we have. We have like every single imaginable truck button available. You can actually check the videos on the channel. Okay, with it, that said, Let's just go into reverse and show our uh, reverse gears. There we go, shows R2. And now going forward, starting straight in the 8th gear. Eight gear. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is pretty much what's new. Did I mention that all the buttons are now SVG? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. The last button that I need to actually point out is the uh, damage button. We actually fixed how the damage is calculated. And this is also due to uh, some changes SCS did recently. They now have wear and damage in the game. So we had to actually fix how we calculate. And now our um, values on the truck damage and on the trailer damage will now match what you get in the service. And I can actually show you that. Let's teleport to the service. We're now at the service area and you can see that my truck damage report says 6%. And if you check um, the button, it also says 6%. If I switch to my trailer, there we go. You can now see the damage uh, report value matches. All right, uh, I guess the next step is just to show you how we assign the modifier keys in the Stream Deck software. All right, my Stream Deck software is now over there. Okay, let me show you uh, what's new. If I select our uh, engine electricity button, can now see that I have a hotkey and a modifier key. And I have my shift, my left shift set. And as my key, I have E. So basically, whenever I press this button on my stream deck, it's going to send a shift E keystroke to the game. My engine start button now has the separate electricity ticked on. This is so that it doesn't show the in, uh, the red uh, battery or that it doesn't show the stop sign on. And you can actually turn this on and off as you wish. The gearbox display is just a simple button. Um, the windshield wipers are just a simple button. But here things are a little bit more interesting. So you can basically change between three modes, like I said, and you can also change what the press on this button does. So a key press action will cycle modes in this case. So here we go. I'm going to press this and it just goes to the next mode 
and to the next mode and back to the original. Um, you can actually change this. So you can actually change between units of the button press. So here we go, kilo kilometers per hour and miles per hour. Now, American Truck Simulator supports only miles per hour, but in Euro Truck, you can actually switch between units just so it makes you easier when you cross into uh, over to the UK or to the mainland. So there we go. You can toggle units or you can actually use this button as a, just a regular keystroke button that sends, emulates a keyboard. Most people just have it on cycle modes. Okay. This is now um, this. Oh yeah. This last analog gauge is the pro feature. So if you don't have your uh, pro version activated, it's just going to say uh, Mod Studio Pro here. It's not going to work. We actually have to get, or uh, we have to give our patrons a little bit extra. And uh, this is pretty much it. If you want to unassign I, uh, these keys, we have fixed or remove buttons. That actually didn't work in version 4. Nobody actually reported it. So it was quite a surprise when I was uh, working on this version 5. But there it is. So yeah, like I said, join us on our Discord. Join us on our social media, which we are now in the process of setting up. Visit our website. Uh, you can download uh, the Stream Deck plugin basically on our website manually. Or you can actually go into the... Uh, Elgato plugin store and you can download it there. The new version is available. And this is it. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.